again in this module, you will see that if we relate language, its features directly with the power as uh, lack of data. So, we actually try to create a direct link between the two. But this is not the case with human language in general. The same expression, the same utterance, the same words can convey more than one meaning. They can perform more than one function. This is called multifunctionality. So now in this module, you will know about multifunctionality. And then you will again see uh, the position of the things which were discussed by Lakoff. We are discussing her uh, views. In fact, not that her views are totally irrelevant. Actually, it was she who first pointed out that language is related with gender and gender is related with language. Actually, when time passes, things are reviewed, things are researched. So, uh, the old things are reanalyzed, uh, reevaluated. So that's the thing that we are doing with our views. Again, here we see that the same form performs multifunctionality. Then how can you relate directly one utterance with women or men? Women use more tax. Uh, this was one feature. We have already talked about it. The reason that was discussed is that they use text because they feel insecure. They are not uncertain. They, are, they feel that we are weak. But if we see men's language, they too, they too use tech questions very often. Holmes, a New Zealand sociolinguist, he says that tags can perform functions of now, instead of saying directly that uh, uh, women use them just for one function to show their powerlessness, and that's it. No, no. Holmes points out that if we just take this feature of attack questions, so it can perform at least three different functions in different contexts. It can perform the function of facilitating, softening, and challenging. Let's see what and how it happens. First function is facilitative tags. Facilitative tags are used, they are those questions, which are used to invite more talk. You want to extend your talk. You don't want to close your talk. You want to keep it incomplete. You want to keep it ongoing. This is you facilitate the other person that he she should speak out. So this is facilitative text. For example, anchor person says in a falling tone. Elections are loss of public money, isn't it? Isn't it? This is tag question. Now when you pronounce it with falling tone, so it means you are inviting the other person to talk more about it. Mitigating tax is another function of tax. You, you, for example, you have remarked something very harshly. Now you want to mitigate, soften, decrease that harshness. So you use tax question. For example, Teacher says in a rising falling tone. First the tone rise, rises and then falls. This is called a rising falling tone. For example, he says, you were a bit showy, weren't you? Okay. So uh, actually, instead of directly blaming the student that uh, you are showy, so uh, the student will feel offended or uh, will feel uh, insulted. So to soften this and to convey the point, the teacher uh, uses the tag with rising falling tone. And the third function of tag is challenging. And you do this with rising tone. For example, 
parent when we use only parent it means either father or mother a parent says you won't do that again will you so this is a kind of warning a kind of challenge homes and her colleagues as we have already mentioned home they in their research found that women used more facilitative and more softening tag than men and men used more confirmatory tags in their they these tags confirmation uh, tags are those in which you ask the addressee something for confirmation uh, would you come today want you for confirmation but in asymmetric talks asymmetric in which there is difference clear difference of power between the participants one is at higher pedestal the other is at lower for example the talk between a doctor and a patient a lawyer and a client and a teacher and a student so in this case the situation is reversed it means that these people who are higher in position they use more confirmatory tags doctor for example you feel pain here don't you and the patient would definitely say yes yes i feel pain here for confirmation so these people they use less facilitative and challenging uh, tags so we conclude it is not clear in the light of these three different dif uh, functions of the same expression we how can we say that there is a direct link between a tag and uh, a person's position as powerful or powerless there is no certainty in presence of multifunctionality